This is not a review. I don't do reviews, you know. This going to be a compilation. This is a, a thoughts video. This Our thoughts. thoughts. on uh, Batman v Superman and Captain America. No, we ain't. Cause, okay. Because we missed gonna, it. But I mean, but with this the title is Captain America Civil War. We just not leaving the theater midnight showing. Yeah. Um, yeah, we tired. We tired. I ain't tired. I don't, I don't get tired. I'm tired. <laughs> but, uh. This th is my sleeping hour. <laughs> man. So, I just want to start off by saying I am proud. I am so proud of Spider-Man. Of no, not just Spider-Man. We'll talk about. I am proud of Marvel. Yeah. They doing their thing. You saw that? Maybe he didn't see the movie. He didn't see the movie that I saw because I saw the movie. And uh, your reaction right now is not my reaction. So I mean, you clearly I, didn't see I, the movie. I, I saw the movie. Look, Where you talking? Mean, I just got off. I got off work and came. What, yeah, what? yeah, yeah, yeah. How, how, how many days you work? Oh. Every day. Oh, but what, what, what do you go to work? I go to work at 6.30 p.m. Okay, all right, all right. See, talking about, see, you just ain't see the same movie as okay, me. That's right. what it is. But that's hey, what it is. Hey, see, you ain't see the same movie. I've been working okay. longer than you. Okay, that's fine. Congratulations. <laughs> I had college. I had finals. <laughs> just finished finals. Thank you. Just got on summer break. D d Marvel, I want to start off by Marvel's saying I love you. Feige, Kevin Feige. Feige. Feigster. Feig, my man. Oh, you're, you're doing your damn thing. Okay. He's doing his mother loving thing. Okay. Um, we're getting in the vehicle. Are we getting food? Because I'm kind of. I'll, I'll pay for it, brother. I got you. I got you. Okay. You, you can't see me because I'm black. But whatever. Uh, we're going to go over here. So, should I start? I'll start. You want me to start? I'll start. I'll, 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 you want to start? I'll start. You that start. movie was great. Okay. Great. Like, better than I expected. The Marvel, Marvel, just, Marvel just don't know how to act right now. Spider Man, like top notch, best Spider Man we had in years. Like, woo! Like I, I can't. I'm gonna hate it when they reboot it. <laughs> <laughs> but um, uh, shoot, what else? What else? What they else? Cannot see you. Yeah, I know. Skin. I'm like, the I'm melanin like, just does not work in the dark. Like maybe if I was 15 shades lighter, they could see me. They can't even see me. I'm not 15 shades lighter though. <laughs> anyway, continue. Um. Cat, uh, Captain Bear. The fight scenes were great. Uh, I like, I like the big, the big battle between teams was awesome. Like Spider, Spider Man, Captain America, Black Panther. Like, like, uh, middle two million here is happy about uh, super, uh, Spider Man. Man, we see Spider Man too many times. I'm happy about that Black Panther though. That Black Panther. Why are you happy about it? Now? Explain. This is a thoughts video, not just a review. This is, the name of this video is Thoughts on Captain America Civil War. We got the first. It is very dark now. Yeah, yeah. Can, can continue though. They can't see us, but oh well. No, no, no racism. Just, just listen to our voices then. Just listen to our voices. Hold on, let me. Um, are you gonna continue? You want me to finish? You want me to? Oh, uh, 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 yeah. Uh, okay, I'm gonna go. All right. So go. I'm gonna start off by saying. I am so proud of Marvel. Um, this Captain America Civil War film was not only great, but it was excellent. Okay, this film hit the notes that it needed to hit. It had so much going on with so little. This film is the prime example for the things that I say, in which you know, I, would, I always say that you can have. Oh, that made it work. You can have as many characters as you want in a film. Damn, it's three o'clock. You can have as many characters as you want in a film. And it not be bad because the characters only are there to serve the plot. If you have an, a certain amount of characters, they need to be there to serve the plot, or they just need to be there and go. Like for example, the every character in this film, they did not bog the film down because they were there for a specific for a specific reason, and their reason made sense. And then they did their reason, and that was it. They weren't just. It's hard to explain. It's very hard to explain. In terms of storytelling, every time you introduce a character within a story, it's for a reason. If you introduce characters and the reason that you, that you are putting them in a film or in a story is non-existent or is is uh, the reason is the, the justification for the reason isn't as big as it needs to be or isn't as thought out or planned as it should be, then it'll show and it was bad. But with them, they did their thing. They had every character in there for a specific reason. Now, let me start off by talking about um, uh, my man's... Uh, 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 I'm going to start off by talking about... Crossbones. Crossbones. Um, 
now in this video this is spoilers we're gonna be spoiling some stuff um so well, I hit if, you, wonder. if you haven't if you haven't seen the film then you should probably click off now because we're about to be spoiling stuff uh but yeah we like it everybody saw this open this not day. yet i mean not yet i don't think everybody there was, there wasn't a lot of people in our theater yeah, that, was, saw that which is surprising yeah that was real surprising but um anyway so crossbones came and went they killed crossbones unless they just blew him up again <laughs> he'll come back again. I don't moment, know because that was a very con contained explosion. I'm pretty sure he ain't coming from that. Yeah, I think that. he's dead. Yeah. So like, unless unless they got some magical uh, some magical way of re uh, re uh, reviving him. Yeah, I think I think he's dead. Um, which is which is shocking. Well, you know? well maybe a Scar uh, Scarlet Witch can uh, change reality. So maybe she felt bad about what happened to him. And she brought him back. And she could bring him back. I don't think she I don't think that's that. likely. Because they were killing it. people regardless. They were just shooting people and stuff like that. I don't think they, I don't think they care. It's so one thing with the superhero movies so far. The superheroes are just killing people. Yeah, yeah. Fuck, fuck, fuck people. Fuck people. We don't care about civilians. My gosh. Who cares about civilians? They can't see your face. I know. Because yeah. the cameras don't work like that. But... Um, yeah, they're just so crossbones came and went. Really, I want to. My thoughts on this film are the film was great. Um, there are a few things that uh, uh, was interesting. I like the fact that all of the characters, their reasons or their, their justification for their their mindset and their dis the decisions that they made were there. So, like, I understood why Iron Man was on why why he was on the side of. No, we need to be kept in check. I understood why Captain America was on the side. Why he? No, we need to. Uh, we need to be ourselves, and we need to make sure we need. We need to do this. You know, you know I understood that. When he said, um, we're, when uh, Captain Iron Man said that well, we're going to be ran by the United uh, United Nations, he said, but we shouldn't be ran by you know outside people because outside people have agendas. Yeah. If we're ran by a small group of us, we can control what we do. Yeah. Or um, say we don't get to they decide where we go like if we want to if we want to uh, if uh, they think a problem is too small for us they think or say we want to go rescue these people we can't do that because they, tell they didn't tell us to. they didn't tell yeah, us to yeah right yeah. and then that all made sense it all made sense and Iron Man I understood his point like um well we've been doing a whole lot of shit on our own that and they keep complaining to us. Things are going bad. Yeah. Like, you know, it made it made perfect sense. Um, it was funny even their reaction when Natasha was like, I agree with Iron Man, because even I was like, yo. And then he said, the person that's been telling the government to kiss her ass. Like I was thinking this, I'm like, yo, you always say, like you you said no, I'm not messing with no government. You you put the government's info out to the public. Yeah. Um something else interesting. And I didn't think about it while watching it, but Nick Fury is like peace. Yeah, he out. wasn't in this. He's like I didn't think about that. He me neither. I didn't think about it. But Nick Fury is like, yo, y'all people, I'm gone. Like remember he said I'm dead. <laughs> oh yeah, I'm, I'm dead. dead. Right. If you Leave me be. my ass about me, tell him I'm right here. I think Nick Fury I think uh, Samuel Jackson's done with Marvel. <laughs> nah, he'll be back for the Avengers, um, Infinity War. But yeah, he He's gone. He's like, hey, no, nah, man. I'm, I'm peace out. Yeah, yeah. Um, but um, I, I would, I kind of wonder uh, whose side uh, Nick Fury would have chosen. He would have Cap. Yeah, he probably. He would have Cap. Yeah, yeah, I think so. Um, something else interesting for me, I really enjoyed the fact that I began for the first time in my life enjoying the movie. To what? I said, sit back and enjoy. Me. Yeah, oh, I man, I love that I was able to sit back and enjoy a movie. Even though I could not enjoy it fully because of that day, 3D. Yeah, we, we just saw it in 3D. Don't see it in 3D. It was a, it, We only saw it in 3D because it was 12 a.m. I just got off work, so. But um, anyway, the the one thing that, that was so crazy to me for the first time in my life, I actually was sympathetic toward <laughs> Tony Man. Stark, Iron Man. I was like... Oh, I actually feel bad for him that he's getting his butt beat. Yeah, because I was said that because he was Whoop. getting his butt beat, like beat bad, and I felt bad because I at the very beginning when they showed the flashback, I was like, oh, that's that's a uh, that's Tony's parents, that's Tony's parents, and it was. Um, and when Tony found out, 
he like I I completely understood like I was like kind of with, with him like, I'm not there like yeah beat his ass Tony but I'm more like oh I can understand, I, I can understand. I mean you still deserve to get your ass beat because you kind of a yeah yeah you're a dick yeah <laughs> but, but like you know but I really think that um, we're gonna Tony's gonna begin to grow up though I do because of um he and 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 Peter I think Peter's really going to be the character that makes Tony grow up and he's going to become kind of like a father. That's And that's what I've been saying. He's going to become a father. And he's going to also hit on uh, Aunt May. Yeah, like, whoo! She looked at it. And Marissa Tomei was looking great. Uh, we'll get to Spider-Man in a moment. But, uh, uh, I forgot. I forgot it. Uh, um, oh, yeah. Yeah, Black Panther. Like, T'Challa. T'Challa. I, I loved it. I loved it so much. I, I liked the little sneak peek of um, Wakanda, even though we didn't get that much of it. It was a, it was a nice little. I liked that there was a big, big, big ass panther. Right yeah, there. Black Panther, yeah. Like, you know where we are. Um, and I also like how it, at the end of it, he, be, he becomes wiser and to notice that he shouldn't fight for vengeance. Vengeance can consume you. Yeah. Even though I still, still think I, I don't know if I agree with him not killing that guy. I mean, I understand where they was going with that, but I still think he probably should have killed him because he kind of deserved it. But you think Baron Zemo deserved, even though his name they didn't call him Baron Zemo, they yeah. just called him Zemo. Yeah. You think he deserved it? I don't know. I don't know if he deserved it. Because I know one thing, I did not feel sympathy for him. Yeah. Like I, I, I mean, was like you did all this yeah. with your family path. That was that was my thing. I was like, oh, you see, so I mean, I understand yeah, and like, your son and and you killed like a whole bunch of other people's yeah. families. Yeah, it like, was like I didn't really. I was like, okay, uh, I, I mean, I see you. I don't understand you, but I see, and I'm not saying that was a fault in the movie. The means. Yeah, it did. And I'm not saying that's the fault of the movie. I think that's that was how it was supposed to be. The character, it was supposed to be like that. Um, and I mean, I was so I don't I don't think they should have killed him, but like I do understand where you're coming from as well. Like, yo, like that man is not, he's, you know, he's not. He should he probably should have died. Um, also, uh, but yeah, those fight scenes. Were, like, those top fighting top. scenes were top notch. Like I like I like the way they uh, use uh, Spider-Man with his uh, with web and Aquaman. Yeah, yeah. Um, so in terms and, of the, and to, uh, Black Panther's acrobatics. Yeah. In terms of the story, though, um, where do you think this is going to go? Where do you think, what's the next step? Where do we go from here? The Avengers are disassembled. Yeah. So, so I'm assuming they have to reassemble. So, probably, so what's the next movie that's coming out? The that's next movie is Doctor Strange. Right. So, they ain't going to have anything to do with that. Nope. That's going to be mystical. And he's going to probably be with him finding out that, uh, <coughs> That, yeah, yeah, that's probably gonna be him finding that out. Uh, I think that I think Thor might make an appearance. I don't think Thor's gonna make it. I mean, Thor's the only person with magic, so I think Thor might tell him to tell the others. Okay, I don't think that's gonna happen. I think that in Doctor Strange, he's gonna find out something to do with the gems. I think that uh, after that is is after that Spider Man. I don't know. I don't remember. Either Guardians of the Galaxy is next, and then Spider-Man, or the other way around. So I think then, I think it's Spider-Man, though. Because Spider-Man comes out July. It may be Spider-Man. Uh, uh, next year? Yeah. And, and then Spider-Man is just going to be Tony Stark growing as a character. Um, and then I think Guardians of the Galaxy is going to be more so an isolated story. Not going to have much to do with anything. Um, and I think Black Panther is just going to connect them. And I think they even said that too. Black Panthers was going to connect it with the mystical um, spirituality, spirituality um, part of it, where that's when he gets the he finds out, you know. Man, that that uh, that uh, assistant with the bald head though. With that bald head, I got a bald head. She was sexy. Though. She was fine. She, she was. was fine. She had that muscular head. arm. She looked like she's stiff arm. You knock your ass up. But she said, but she said, you know what? Either move or I'll make you move. Yeah. Like, 
I want to see this. I mean, no, I saw that arm. I knew she. I, I didn't want to see it. I was like, she will mess you up. She will mess Black Widow up. Black yeah. Widow don't want these problems. She don't want them problems. Not with them. That, not with that Wakanda princess. Wakanda. Wakanda and oh, the queen. I just realized something. What? The Tyler and the Storm can't get together. Nope. Uh, nope. They can't. But um, yeah. So, uh, Falcon was cool. You know, Falcon yeah, did his yeah. thing. Yeah, and I like how he used the uh, the the um the way he used his beam. Yeah. And shields. Yes. They was they was, they was clever. Even I don't even like how they um changed uh, his falcon his uh, pet to the droid. Yeah, to the droid. Yeah. With um black black widow was sweet too. She was sweet. Oh, she's always sweet. <laughs> yeah. Um. Uh, Ant Man was cool. I mean, I'm not a big fan of Ant Man. In the film, his film was all right. He became Giant Man. Yeah, he did. Yeah. That was funny. And they, that, there was a lot of references to Star Wars. Yeah, and Spider-Man made the reference to uh, Star Wars. Spider-Man Spider cursed. cursed. That was hilarious. Um, what else? Uh, War Machine paralyzed. Yeah, that's like well, at least at least a black guy didn't die. Yeah, nobody died. I really figured somebody was gonna die. I was like, Steve is going to die. I said it to you right before. Yeah, yeah. I'm like, he's about to die. He didn't die. He was wrong. I was wrong. That was so strange to me, but you know, he didn't die. Um, what else? Um, I'm trying to get to everybody, then get to my dude, I think. Uh, Scarlet Witch and Vision, we realized that uh, Scarlet Witch can control Vision. Yeah. And, Which we already knew, basically. And they've been messing around or something. She, he went through the wall. She said, I told you about that. Yeah, that kind of, that kind of is creepy. Like, I mean, told you about that. In the comics, they get married. Yeah. So, hey. Even yeah. though that, that's like a weird age difference. She's like 17. And he, she's like probably 19, 20. And he's like 1. So it's fine. But he looks about 30. Yeah, he looks 30. Um, is that everybody? Uh. Agent 13 was there. Uh, yeah. Oh, Peggy died. Peggy died, Peggy whatever. Peggy. But Agent 13 really didn't. Her and Steve kissed, I think, because they have to. I don't know. Like, there was literally no reason. They were attracted to each other, I guess. And that's kind of weird. Like, your grandma died. And it's not as great. It was her great aunt. Your great aunt dies. So I'm going to phone you because you're kind of... Because y'all and y'all are related. Yeah. I mean, hey. Let's keep it in the family. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> and um, and you know, you no know, Hawkeye came back. Nobody asked for him when he came back. He did and was immediately arrested. Yep. Yep. Um, he was short lived. You know, can't go see the family. No more. Yep. Well, I mean, he got let out at the end by right. Cap. Yeah. Um. Uh, what's his name? Lost his arm. Bucky. Bucky. Yeah, Bucky lost his arm. Uh, and they got it frozen. And yeah, it was from. You know, everybody just wanted to kill Bucky. Yeah, because Bucky's a jackass. I mean, it wasn't his fault. Yeah, it wasn't. He's still a jackass. Um, I think that's it. Yeah, I'm pretty sure that's everybody. So now my man Spider. Spider Man. Spider Man. You know, he was way too happy at the end. Where are you going to, Spider Man? Way too happy. Nobody knows who you are. Man. Like he, he was sitting. So after the end credits, there's a little spot for uh, Spider Man. Talk about he he will return. I guess he is the next movie after. Uh, he's so. not. He's not. The next after movie. Do, I Doctor said after Doctor Strange. Doctor yeah, it Doctor. might be him because I think he's July. Yeah. And you know after you know they did their little thing for Spider Man, he just started clapping. He was the only one clapping. I was. I didn't care. I didn't give a damn. But first, I want to start off by saying people were saying this is the best Spider Man we got. Yes. Um. I agree, but he reminds me of Andrew Garfield. He did not remind me of Tobey Maguire. He reminded me of Andrew Garfield with his mannerisms, with his uh, the way he spoke. He reminded me of Andrew Garfield. The way he dressed. And there were some points where I even heard his accent. Did you hear his accent? I heard his English accent come through at some points. And I'm not saying Tom Holland did a bad job. I'm not saying he did a good job. Well, I mean, I am saying he did a good job. I am saying that. But he reminded me of Andrew Garfield. And that's not a good thing or a bad thing. He just reminded me of Andrew Garfield. He didn't remind me of Toby. 
He didn't remind me of Toby. Oh, wait, um, I, do, I like the Falcon and... Uh, see, this Bucky. is why you were supposed to speak about this when I was... Before I got to the Spider-Man section. Because I'm going to spend a lot of time talking about Spider-Man. But Spider you want to talk about Falcon? Go ahead. Spider-Man, like... No, talk about Falcon! No, I'm saying the reason this pops in my head because you talk about Spider-Man. In the fight between Spider-Man, Bucky, and Falcon, Bucky and uh, Falcon's um, back and forth, their uh, chemistry was was funny. It was funny. And Spider-Man's also, his whips were funny yes, too. Yes, yes. Is it whips or quips? His quips. quips. His quips were funny. His quips were funny. Um, Tony and Peter, Tony just found Peter. He just, he just automatically knew he where knew. he was. Like, that was... I thought they were going to explain that. You yeah. know, Spidey, Peter did mention something about uh, the goggles help him see because... It's a focus help him Yeah, because his senses are dialed up to... To 11. Yeah. He went 0 for, to 100 real quick. Yeah, 0 to 111. <laughs> 110. Um, so, I guess that was the reason for the eyes moving. They didn't explain it like I thought they would because they said they would explain it, but they didn't. So, it's fine. Um, it just looks cool. Yeah, it just looks cool. The costume looked like CGI, though. And I know, now I understand why they did the raised webbing in the other films. Because when it's raised webbing, it gives it depth and dimension, which is what Sony actually said. It gives it depth and dimension. Without the raised webbing, then it looks like a shiny piece of nothing, <laughs> which is it looks like a cartoon, and it did look I like a cartoon. Did not, I did not care. But I, I did not care. Yeah, I didn't care. I did not care. I it thought it looked cool. nice. It's yeah, I thought it looked because cool. the reason why when the when they showed the scene with the mask coming off his face, and I was like, is that CG? That's not CG. That's him. That's actually the costume. So I understand now. But with that being said, keep it. I don't give a damn. Keep it. I, I don't. Raised webbing is not Spider-Man. Put me in the game, coach. I can still go. That was so funny when he was like, I, I, I'm still, he's like, no, you're going home. You're going home. I'm, 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 I'm telling I'm I'm tell I'm tell I'm 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 tell I make. Until I make. Until I So that was really cool. Spidey at the end got that Spidey signal. He got the Which Spidey I, signal. I, 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 I'm, I'm just, he I'm, got the Spidey signal. I don't want to be dick picky, but what does, what does that have to do with anything? What, what is it going to use Have you for? seen Spectacular Spider-Man? No, never. You've never seen? I've seen it. I'm like, I've seen some episodes. I never watched it all the way through. It is the best Spider-Man television show. <laughs> what about the, the, not the original, but the old one? The 60s one? Yeah. Are you yeah. talking about the 90s one? I don't know which one. The 90s one was the, the one, one with the with the with the song. Like, Damn it! You talking about the one that goes? Da, 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 Spectacular Spider-Man is better. I'm about to go Keanu. Spectacular Spider-Man. No, you need to see Spectacular Spider-Man. Then you'll know what I'm talking about. The comments. People in the comments know. I want to see Keanu. Why are you talking about that crappy movie? <laughs> anyway, you got, the spider, you got the Spidey signal. Spectacular Spider-Man the movie. That's what Spider-Man Homecoming is. They kept saying Homecoming as one of the... Uh, the keywords yeah. for the brainwashing, yeah. and it was so strange to me because I was like, so all the those words were strange. I, yeah, I, I mean, but that's say, that's actually how it works in terms of brainwashing and stuff like that. It's I like numbers I, and. How could they just say, "Hey, Winter Soldier, kill people"? Because it's not how it works. There's are uh, some certain amount of Do words that are activators. Oh yeah, because that's illegal. They're activators. Now you really can't see me. The blackness. You can see my teeth though. <laughs> but anyway, they're activator words. Um, so yeah. But what else? Um, we got the Spidey signal. We're gonna see technology play a, a big role. Tony Stark, I think, um, is going to be. He's gonna be within Peter's life, uh, which we know that. Um, you know, it would have been cool if we got that. Oh wait, there was a lot of comic book scenes that was in the. In the like um, the, the shield and laser blast. And they went slow motion for that too, just yeah. to say, we did it! 
<laughs> we did, look, look, we, we did it. We, you see it? Yeah. We, we did it. So, I mean, I appreciated that. Um, but what I was saying, I was saying um, the Spider Man and Captain America fight. Yeah, but it, it would have been cool if uh, Iron Man made him the Iron, Iron Spider Man suit. Nah, I think I think this is fine. Save that for. I think in the Spider Man movie, he'll tell you, say something like, I was going to give you this suit, but I figured that you weren't cool enough. <laughs> something like that. Uh, but. Or I, or I want you to test something out. <laughs> I do think, though. I do think that that suit we're, we're, is. You're staying at home, or at home. Yeah, I'm at home. Okay. I do think that that suit does monitor Peter's powers, and I do think Peter in the Spider-Man movie is going to deactivate it without Tony's knowing. Thus, cementing in the Marvel Cinematic Universe that Peter Parker is smarter than Tony Stark, because Peter Parker is smarter than Tony Stark. I mean, but was it? But was it when uh, in Civil War he was much older? So in Civil War? Yeah, Civil War. Peter was, was like, like 20, 20 something. something. Yeah. He's like 10. I don't know how old he is. You, this man did not just say that. That's a big ass 10 year old. <laughs> but he's not that old. Were though. you that big when you were 10? You're not even that big now. I know, right? <laughs> but. Look at my dad to look at me. You know, genetics is a mother. <laughs> don't, I mean, uh, Peter's like 15, isn't that? Okay. But like a 15 year old being as far as a. Yeah. 35 year old? Yeah. Okay. Tony is not 35. Son of wrinkles. <laughs> Tony is like at least 45. Robert Downey is 50. Okay. Robert Downey Jr. is 50. So he ain't no. Robert Downey's dead. I don't know. I don't know if Robert Downey is dead. I don't think so. He might be though. I don't know. That's no, not wait, the conversation. Wasn't was Robert Downey the. Uh, I don't know. I don't I, know. That's not the no, conversation. No, I was going to say, wasn't he the guy that. Uh, uh, was playing, uh, played uh, the judge with uh, Robert Downey Jr. What, what's the name? Go play. I don't think so. Okay. Yeah, I don't think so. <coughs> um, uh, the young Tony Stark scene looked weird to me. Yeah, that was weird. That was creepy. Um, but anyway, uh, so Peter gonna have that technology. Yeah. Gonna have that technology. He built the web shooters himself. Did it look weird to you when he shot the web? It looks so weird. The first time he was like, Shh, "Don't tell me." That was so weird to I me. Didn't, I didn't think it was weird. He I shot didn't, that web. I was like, "Yo." I didn't know he had a bow though. Yeah, me neither. But like, it looks so weird. So he just sits and hold with those on. I guess you know when something goes down, he can just change yeah. his uniform. Spider Man is in the Marvel Cinematic Universe. Yeah, I know you're very happy with that. Spider Man is in the Marvel Cinematic Universe, yo. Now come on, Fox. dog. We're Oscorp. At? Dog, Oscorp, bro. Dude, man. Oscorp. Can we get one and Tony at Stark. Time. Norman Osborn and Tony Stark. Harry Osborn. See, you're trying to. Eddie Brock. You're trying to jump. Eddie Brock. Hey, hey, man, they need to cast me as Eddie Brock. They said they want a multicultural cast, some shit. I'm black. <laughs> Make me Eddie. I'm Venom. I'm Venom, yo. I can do it. Hey, and you could be old enough to, you are old enough to be, uh, uh I'm the same Peter. age as, I'm the same age as Tom Holland. See? See? Hey, Marvel, hit you me are up. Not I am. Tom Holland is... He's one in 96. Oh, damn. Why does he look so little? He needs to start eating some meat. <laughs> he needs to start eating meat? Yes. He's 19. He's like, he got that, he got that vegetarian body. He's 19, though. Spider-Man in the comics is weird. Oh, I'm not 19 anymore. Spider-Man in the comics is, is 19. Do I look 19? Nah, not really. How old do I look? I don't know. I, I, do I've I look seen, older than 19? I've seen, I, dude, man, I've seen you since we was yeah, little, so, so I lives. can't really, I can't really say how I, old you look. I, you look the same to me since, yeah, since you, I met you. You look the same, too. Yeah. You ain't changed. You're the same. Yeah, we're both the same. We're both the same. So, except for facial hair. Yeah. You ain't never had fish yet. <laughs> Dang, I didn't even notice that. You got a little beard going yeah, on. A little beard. goatee. Yeah. Me too. I did shave a little bit too. Really? Yeah, I don't know how I shaved up. But yeah, then no, I shaved. That's, it was... I didn't have a dad to teach me how to shave. That's a lot. That's a lot. <laughs> I just never asked about to shave. Did your dad, was your dad killed by the Winter Soldier or something? Nah. <laughs> sorry. Sorry. Alright, so, I so was Civil War, way better than Batman v Superman. Yeah, down, I mean, down. yeah. Come on, DC. 
Come on, man. DC I love you, DC, but together. Marvel's killing it. DC need to get their act together. But you know, man. DC, DC having that killing joke. Man, that's an animated film. Yeah, I know. But hey, hey, DC is way better. Batman than v animated Superman should have been that. Um, it should have been the film that we saw. What is it? Yes. Hello. Uh, uh, is he trying to pick up a hooker? I don't think so. This is not the. This is not the. It's uh, not the right place. Yeah, it's not the right place. Go to Woodward. Yeah, go to um, Woodward. Go to Shane. <coughs> but uh, what was I about to say? Um. Uh, you made me lose my train of thought talking about hookers. Ah. Oh! <laughs> well, oh yeah. Um, oh. Uh, Batman v Superman should have been that uh, Justice League movie, the movie that we saw when they all met, and uh, he was like, "So what are you, just a rich guy?" And I'm um, been dressed up as a bat, and then Batman smiled when Green Lantern said that to him. You remember? Oh, the Justice League movie. Yeah. yeah Justice League War. Yeah. That should have been Batman v Superman. They just or, need to hire the people or, that make the animated films I got to make better. the live action films. You know what Batman v Superman should have been? What? Batman and Superman, the animated movie. That's what it should have been. I haven't seen that one. You haven't seen that one? No. Should have just hired Bandit Incorporated to make it. Bandit, why didn't you make it? Bandit, no, call up DC, had... say, hey, I'm making it now. Say it, Bandit, do it. You got the, you got the, no, I Bandit think can do they it. They should have said Batman and Superman the movie. They should have just followed that word for word, live from live, scene mm -hmm. to scene. There's um, a YouTuber. You didn't see that movie. Yeah, there's a YouTuber named Film Junkie. He made a video talking about what um, like uh, the narrative could have been. It was pretty cool. I sh I'll send you to it. Uh, you guys should check it out, too. Tell Film Junkie I, I sent you. Uh, he doesn't know who I am, probably. I don't know. Getting back into the swing of this YouTube thing. But yeah, so that's what we think. That's our thoughts of uh, the Civil War. This is a very, you know, fresh well, impression first. You know what? We should see Bad Baby Superman again. I'm and then fine. we should make a video I'm about fine. it. No, I'm, we fine. Did, we I'm did, not we I'm you. not seeing yeah. that again. Yep. Yep. Not paying money for that. You. Are you crazy? You, you have no choice in it. I do have I'm a choice. Driving to the movie my right wallet, right my wallet has a choice. I'll pay for you. Okay, let's go. <laughs> it's twelve o'clock at night. It's three o'clock in the morning. Drive in. The drive is they don't they're not showing that drive in anymore. No really? It's too old. It's too bad. <laughs> I bet they're gonna be showing some. I mean war. it was in March. That was two months ago. Hey. Oh well. Oh they're probably showing it at the uh, uh Dollar Show? Dollar Show. Alright, let's do it. Alright, I can pay a dollar to go see it. I, I can pay a dollar too. Let's it's, do it. it's in my bad movie. Yeah, that's, not not that's not bad. It's not bad. It's not bad. But yeah, so that's our thoughts all over the place of the Civil War, Captain America Civil War film. Uh, you can stay tuned for more videos on my channel um, when I talk about it. Uh, Sit the like, com like, favorite, comment, rate, subscribe. Rate. There is no more rating. Fav like, like, subscribe, comment this down there. What did you guys think of the film? Uh, yeah. Um, anything else to say? Uh, I gotta start watching the other people's reviews because I try to stay away from everything. Uh, me too. And I'm staying away from Doctor Strange too. And uh, so, so what's the next DC? Oh yeah, Suicide Squad's coming yeah, Suicide out. Yeah, Suicide Squad. But yeah, so I thank you all for watching. I'm gonna be insane. Hit the like button, subscribe, comment. Yeah. What did you guys think? Peace. Have a good one. Peace. I gotta take.